This video is for anyone who needs to update the firmware in a Symbio 700 controller. Upgrading a controller relies on using a USB stick to transfer the firmware file and using the Symbio service and installation app to initiate the upgrade. We're going to take this step by step and the first step is to get the firmware file downloaded and onto the stick. Firmware for a Symbio 700 is available through train.com at the train controls software and firmware downloads page. You can use the search function on the train.com page to find it. If I scroll down, you can see we have packaged units and split systems with Symbio 700. And I can download the latest version. Now that that step is complete, I'm going to open my file structure. I'm going to open up my downloads and I'm going to take the firmware file and put it on my USB drive. At this point, I've connected to the controller with the Symbio service and installation app over Bluetooth. And I've inserted the USB stick into the USB port on the Symbio 700 board. If you have any questions about how to get the Symbio service and installation app or how to connect with a controller via Bluetooth, this would be a good time to take a break and watch our getting connected video. To initiate the firmware upgrade, I'm going to tap the tools icon in the bottom right. And then I'm going to choose the update firmware option, which appears here at the bottom of the screen. I'll get a few notes that this process can take about three minutes, should not be interrupted once started, and letting me know that I will be disconnected from the controller and will be taken back to the device list screen and need to reconnect. In the middle of the page, I can see what my currently installed firmware on the controller is, and I can see what the firmware available on the USB stick is. I next have the option to update the firmware. At this point, I see a confirm asking if I'm sure I want to update the firmware on the controller and reminding me not to remove the USB stick until it's complete. I'm going to tap the update button. Now we're into the process of updating the firmware. This will take a few minutes, so I'm going to jump ahead in just a second. But while we're doing this, I just wanted to mention that what you will see at this point in the app is nothing really interesting happening. You're going to see spinners and at some point you'll be disconnected from the controller. In the meantime, if you look at the controller's display, you will see a series of statuses that it will show as it goes through shutting down the application on the controller, validating the update and going through a whole process of steps. And what I'll do at this point is jump us ahead to the point where the update is complete and I'm seeing on the display of the controller that it is ready to connect via Bluetooth. At this point, my controller is showing that it's ready. So I'm going to switch to my camera so you can see that it says Symbio 700 ready. So at this point, I can tap the Bluetooth button and connect with the app. As the data loads, we get a pop-up to let us know that the software update was successful. I can hit OK and watch the data start to come back in.
our data has all loaded. So I can see the information and I can go through and view the other screens. At this point, I have completed the upgrade and am ready to do other work with the controller.